Hey everyone, it's Kristen Bird for Dance Network and it's week four here of the live shows at So You Think You Can Dance The Next Generation and this week we lose two contestants. Getting to work with Anthony again, how about for Emma? Was she more comfortable in the rehearsal space? I think both of them were more comfortable with each other. I think Anthony this time knew not to worry because um, she definitely goes through like a process throughout the whole week. First day is always a rocky, then she goes home and works on it. Um, and she learned to trust that process too. So it was, it was a lot more lighthearted energy. <laughs> it was a challenge. It it wasn't easy. This week was pretty hard for us. But he, he I I told him I was like, if you give up, you're not going to grow. If you don't give up, you're going to grow. He didn't give up. He was never going to give up. So he tried his hardest. And yes, just like Emma, it's a process for him. It's not. It doesn't happen right away for him. He's ten. It's gonna take him a second. But he was nervous, but he flew tonight. Let's talk about Ruby first, because she was in Jeopardy last week, and then you know you had her this week. What was her demeanor like and attitude in rehearsal? It's very interesting because I didn't felt for a second that she was in the button the week before. She's a, she's a little fighter. She's a warrior. And um, if she was worried, I didn't see anything. She was ready to work, and she's passionate about dancing. So this young lady, you can really give her everything you got. She's gonna take it, and she's gonna bring it. She's gonna rise up to the occasion. Tonight I was on the edge of my seat because everyone brought an amazing choreography, and for mine, I'm like sweating. I'm like, oh my gosh! I'm like, please, please. But it was OMG tonight. I'm so happy for the both of them. This is my what second piece that I've done that's actually emotional with Happy Tabs because. The last one we, I did with them was Fallen with Adachike. And that one in Emmy because that was so emotional. We both were crying at the end just as Tahani and I were crying at the end. So like, they, they really know how to, I think, um, I guess touch stuff that a lot of people don't like want to speak about or revisit or talk about sometimes and so it's a place that almost so it's so vulnerable and it's such like a fly on the wall where you just want to just see what people go through and how they how they deal